friends, brothers and sisters, who can regale me and my queen with some myth? Or tale? Finish your quest for you. And what do you hope to gain from facing all of this? Honor. That is why a knight does what he does. Are you ready? <laughs> I say either. You yeah, say either. I say neither, and I say neither, neither, either, neither, neither. Let's call the whole thing off. Ta-da! Catch up. Excuse me. Yummy. Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Venom. Person Hall, Mrs. Chen. He says hi. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. I've been thinking about you, eh? Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number. Because you and I are the same. Every decision we ever make. Who do we leave behind? And how do we leave them? Waiting in the darkness for the rescuer who never comes. Welcome back, Eddie Brock. It's been a long time. I miss you so much. Come chaos. Chaos soon come. Chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen! No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. Excuse me. 
she's been like crying for hours. Sorry, but this is a group for new mothers. On that sign out there, it says parents. I'm a parent and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. The girl's got some stuff flying out of ass and she can either hit you with a streamer or she'll buckshot you. It's a quick whop. I need help. I don't know how you're gonna do this. Mm -mm -mm. If you could have only one parent, I wish you could have had your mom. Because she would have been better at it. And mommy was the best. Go to sleep, Maddie. Maddie, go to sleep. Maddie, go to sleep. Go to sleep, Maddie. It's not working out. Well, she's not a clapper. Matthew, darling, we think you should move back to Minnesota. You're all alone here. She needs family. Raising a child is a non-stop, all-day, all-night affair. I look. You look great! Don't say it just to be saying it. You look like a king. King and a slave. Wake up, Daddy! How does it look? I think it's a new look. I think it's a new hairstyle that can catch on if given a chance. Mr. Logan, Madeline doesn't have a mother to model after. I am well aware of what my daughter doesn't have. You think you can do this, but you can't? No, Mary, you're right. I can't do it. But you know what? I'm going to do it because I'm a father. God, Maddie. You Thank God today I got there in time to hold her hand. With Liz, so I didn't get to hold her hand. She was gone. And you it's always just us. Other people have more people. I just want to do what your mom would have wanted me to do. You're trying to make everything perfect. <laughs> but we don't have any control. Wherever you are, I want to go there. Wherever you are, I want to go there too. <sighs> Somebody's cutting onions or something close to us or something. I don't know. Hey, y'all gotta stop it! Oh. She would be so proud of you. Participation. We survived. All police and emergency services have been reinstated. All crime, including murder, is now illegal. Come on, let's get to work. One night only. The rest of the year is peaceful. steel walls no more powerless how's that feel this is the real purge the forever purge hurry up they're coming come on follow me there's nowhere safe to go no way to get help oh my god we gotta find another way to get out of here country's gonna collapse. Mexico is opening its borders for the next six hours. Let's go. We're in this together. Translate. Solo. 
You're gonna tell us everything you know. <laughs> I'm not telling you a mother... You can electrocute him all day, it'll only make him angrier. I, on the other hand, will tell you everything. What? Really? Michael Bryce was trying to put his past behind him. You need to forget bodyguarding. Repeat after me. No bodyguarding. No. Bodyguarding. Then he got pulled back in. Let's go! Jesus! To protect this homicidal nutbag's wife. What is he doing here? I said, get anyone but Michael Bryce. I believe it's pronounced, thank you. In four days, all of you lot will burn. They're planning a full-scale cyber attack. Do not screw this up. Oh, we are definitely gonna screw this up. I promised my therapist no bodyguarding. Let's not do that, guys. Let's just focus. I got it. No, it's fine. You guys just, you guys have at it. Maybe feather the break a bit. I need you to protect us. We're trying to have a baby. Now repeat after me. I'm unlicensed. I'm unlicensed. That's terrible. Oh. Louder. I'm unlicensed. And I don't give a... We need guns. We need boats. We need them. Are you ready to get your freak on? What? That came out wrong. But together with us, that also came out wrong. Now let's go do what we do and blow some things up. I would make a great mother, don't you think? I, I think you, yes. Mother? Thank you. It must be your powerful asexuality that makes you such a good listener. He's an on. He's an on. He's an on. He's an on. Can we just acknowledge that not only are we safe, this really feels like a newbie. <laughs> Most people are good. Some people are bad. But you, you're the rare gift. So get in and get out. You can always think on your feet anyway. Not so much tonight. sent away so many prematurely, either by my hand or through you. We never sent anyone away who didn't have it coming. But we all have to pay for our sins eventually. Meet you downstairs in the bar and hurt your rolled up sleeves in your skull t-shirt. She's not gonna run. She's gonna lick her wounds, and she's coming after us. Someone killed a friend of mine because of a contract he completed years ago. Oh, yeah? You could be answers. I'll be the last thing you ever say. Why don't you just consider it a mystery best left unsolved? You know that I'm no good. You keep this up, you're gonna die. I just wanted to end their life. And anyone standing in my way. You're intrigued by her. Curious. Bad manners. No. I'd really like to see you again under different circumstances. These are the best circumstances you'll ever see me in. The day you left for Marseille. I drove to the airport. I went to the gift shop and I saw this necklace. It was gold, 
said still water on it. I thought it'd be a little piece of home to take with you. Some folks are born made to wear the fly. You're in Marseille for vacation? Yeah, I'll visit my daughter. Yeah, the father of the girl, the, the American student? Yes, ma'am. Allison came here for college, and that's where she met this girl, Lena. One night she found Lena dead and called the police. All they cared about was Allison sleeping with some Arab girl. I loved her. I know you did. But everybody thinks that I killed her. We have exhausted every possible legal action. Is the lawyer not helping you? I'm doing it myself for now. I could help. What's your name? Maya. Maya. Oh, that's nice. She's very protective with me. You seen that guy before? No one would talk to you, trust me. I'm not from here. It's not safe for you. She's my little girl. Dad, please. I'm not going to give up. It will be a serious mistake to commit a crime to prove your daughter innocent. It will not get her out of jail. And it will send you in. Lord, please keep a watchful eye on Allison. Amen. Police. Did you ask her to lie? I'm trying to get my little girl out of jail. That's all I give a damn about. You sound very American right now. Good. I am. Yeah, and you're also a stranger here. What did you do? You just have to trust me. If you could wish for anything... Oh, delivery! Have a nice day! Thank you! Delivery! Thank you! What would it be? Hey, Lena. Happy birthday. Oh, I miss you. What? Oh, no! Uh, oh, gosh. Um... Huh? Greetings, great master. The heavens have opened. Your wishes will be... Oh, a peasant boy. Well, this'll be easy. I know what you're thinking. Could this be real? Is magic real? Yes, it's real. I am a wish dragon who will grant three wishes to the owner of this teapot. How do you fit in this teapot? Uh, it, it's so <laughs> small. Look at your little arms. Your face is so soft. <gasps> Can you breathe fire? <gasps> no, I've been stuck. In this teapot for a thousand years. So the sooner we can get this over with, the better. Excellent choice. You see her? I wish. Stop, 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 stop. It's not. Uh, I can't make people fall in love with you. No, she's my best friend. <laughs> Ten years ago. Bye, Din. That's my wish. I want my friend back. I'm going to need that teapot. Oh, I wish I knew how to fight. <gasps> Hop on. <laughs> Best friends forever. I wish. As far as I can see, I got everything I need. Wish this traffic would just yes. Go ahead. Long. I'm not gonna waste a wish on traffic. Look, you're gonna have to use your. You're gonna have to use. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to use. If only I had a magical dragon that could fly me across the city. Have you ever heard of someone called Ulrich Mott? 
Weren't you wearing an eye patch the last time we met? An eye patch? <laughs> I don't think so, no. When may I see you again? You are aware that I'm married. You let me know if anything changes. Please raise your glasses as I marry the bedazzling Mrs. Elsa Britt. Can we speak? No, not on the telephone. That's not prudent. Who are you talking to? Shut your face! There will be time for tears and remembrance. No, there's urgent work to be done. What work? I must find and bring to justice the men who killed your mother and my wife. Why did you leave the house on the night of your wife's death? For a walk. You're late. Do you remember your feelings when you learned that your mother was planning to marry Mott? Shock, horror, disbelief. He looks like he could be my brother. Try to get to know him before you condemn him. She left him $250,000. A few months ago, she disinherited him. Am I under arrest? Not at the present time. My mother gave him money, propped up his so-called career. In exchange, he cooked her meals. They gave her an excuse to keep having Georgetown parties. It was a marriage of mutual exploitation. You are the perfect butler. Is that all you want to be? You know it isn't. So what are you waiting for? Urgent from Ulrich Mott, Villa Zarathustra, Sadr City, Iraq. We authorized the embed of a German national with the Mahdi army. Nobody. Diplomacy is the art of telling people to go to hell in such a way that they ask for directions. <laughs> The more I find out about this guy, the less I understand. Every word he says is a lie. You stink of alcohol. And you reek of the grave. To Ulrich and his marvelous achievement. Welcome to Pine Grove. Welcome to Pine Grove. Welcome to Pine Grove. Is somebody going to say that every 12 seconds? If you ever need anything, I'm only going to be here a month during the renovation. Can I help you? This table is by invitation only. Are you serious? She used to say serious as a heart attack, but then Marjorie killed over, so she don't say it anymore. We call them the Queen Bees. Guess what the B stands for? Saving seats, clicks. They're like mean girls, but with medical alert bracelets. Let's go. Remember, sweat is just fat crying for attention. Looking good, ladies. And are you flirting with me? Yes. yes. I'm interested in joining the bridge club. Someone needs a hearing aid. The roster's full. OK, well, I heard Janet Poindexter's a real <laughs> This isn't high school. It's worse. High school, we graduate. Here, we die. Ah, oh, come on, be one of us. We are the cool ones. Ooh. I've never thought of myself as cool. You're not. With us, you will be. Give me the purse. What purse? My purse. I want you to take your wrinkly ass back inside. <laughs> We're the queen bees. We don't take crap from anyone. I must tell you, the other night I looked up and there you were, and then you started to dance. It was magical. Has that line worked for you in the past? <laughs> Not so much. Let's go crazy. <laughs> we are sisters, the four of us. I love that. Word on the wheelchair ramps is that you and Dan are and I. It's ridiculous. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, at least you're riding the bike again. And in this metaphor, Dan is the bike? Yes, he is. <sighs> I'm gonna need a helmet. <laughs> we have got to live every day. Do you want to get baked? <laughs> Did we sleep together? Oh, don't look so worried. That kind of experience is not on my bucket list. Throughout all the years that I've been making music, if you get on a tour bus with a bunch of musicians, eventually the conversation will go to Sparks. I remember just seeing them all the time, like, who are those guys? They are a band who you can look up on Wikipedia and know nothing. We are Sparks, dude. Please welcome Sparks! Sparks! Sparks!
frequently asked questions about Sparks. How many albums are there? 25 albums. Are you brothers? We are brothers. How did you first meet? We are brothers. Music at its best, you hear it and you go, oh my god, what is that? It's insane, but it's fantastic. Each time you'd go to the rehearsal, there'd be something new there. Like, that's good. It wasn't like anything else. All pop music is rearranged sparks. That's the truth. There are throwaway riffs that other bands have built whole careers out of. One of my favorite moments is John Lennon ringing up Ringo Starr. You won't believe what's on the television. It was the sound of the future. Sparks is way more prolific than all of the artists we consider to be the greatest in the world. They sort of set a template that a Beatle would pretend to be Ron. That's amazing. They were taking all their creative juices and putting it into something that they loved. They were a bit much for most people. The culture just wasn't there yet. Is there anybody out there at all right now? They've reinvented themselves several times. The thing that marked them was their unwillingness to give up. That sounds like the scene from our biopic. <laughs> Our time has come. Here we are. They may have given birth to other bands who don't even know that the lineage goes back to them. Still are waiting to get paid back for that. Why have you resisted doing a documentary until now? We didn't want to do the standard documentary full of talking heads. It would become too dry. Your grandfather showed me everything. Now I'm teaching you. We should have had more children. I think it's hard for Sammy. Feliz cumpleaños. I saw something. What did you see, Sabino? He didn't see anything because there's nothing out there. It's a beautiful place. How do I get there? Sabino, you can't go. It's dangerous for you. Sabino, you can go. I'm telling you. I hate you. This life At some stage in our life, is all I need. each of our journeys will change. Can come back into me. I'm your father. I'm just trying to protect you. For mercy shown. You can't put my son in a prison. And we will be tested in ways Hurry up. we could never imagine. You sent Savi into the desert. I thought he would talk to you. Why he would do that? Because you're his father. It takes time to understand your parents. One day you will see it. And you will know.